Hi guys and welcome to my October favourites. So my first favourite had to be temporary tattoos. If you watched my, I think it was September haul, I featured the temporary tattoos by Joelle from Joelle's Emporium. She has an Etsy and there are just so many and as I mentioned before, they look very realistic. They aren't tacky, they are beautiful and I've worn them and people generally thought they were actual tattoos. So and that was in person as well as in videos. Some of you spotted them and asked if I had new tattoos, but it was just temporary. As I also mentioned in that haul, from wearing the temporary tattoos, I know I want more. I think it's three um, I want. So at the moment I'm kind of in, in planning stages. Also I'm gonna do a giveaway with Joelle. She kindly let me do this, so I will link below to the giveaway and on the blog post it will show all the ones that'll be up for grabs for you. So it's open worldwide and yes, as I said, all links will be down below. So I thought it was great to like let one of you have a nice selection, There's quite a few there, so I hope you enjoy those. My second favourite was also in my September haul and this is the Michael Kors bag that I got from Daniel Fitwear. They do a lot of like designer brands on there and I love this bag. It's, um, I think it's the Tote Jet Set bag but I use this every day and it is so durable. It hasn't worn or um, started breaking at all. I'm using it so it's full of stuff. I probably won't do a what's in my bag. Um, I just don't really want people to know what's in my bag. I don't know, that just sounds like a come on and steal what's in my bag but it's got lots of compartments it's got zips compartments for your phone for your cards this invention is really good so I can always get to my keys when I need them so I don't have to like rummage through when I first got it I did that thing of you know having it with your arm bent carrying like that um, but I put a lot in my bag because there's lots of things I have to carry sometimes so this fits really well actually on your shoulder so you do have that option. I had two favourite lipsticks although I'm not wearing either of them right now um, but my favourites have been MAC Diva and also Velvet Teddy so I've been into quite a vampy lip but then having more subtle eyes um, kind of accentuating more eyeliner or the lashes uh, and then if I want more of a dramatic eye then I will go for Velvet Teddy so the focus is more on my eyes. I really want to get, um, is it heroin? I saw Cyan, um, Cyan Shutterbug at the Motel Rocks party and she was wearing that and it looked amazing on her so I am tempted to get more. My two favourite foundations has to be definitely these two. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I thoroughly enjoyed applying this. It's so nice. It's lovely coverage, really nice consistency, 12 hour makeup. It's oil free. As I said, it didn't break me out. It's meant to be for all skin types. However, it didn't fully last on me. I don't know where my skin started producing oil. It didn't sit as well. So I'm not sure if it's that great for oily skin personally, um, unless you have like a super amazing primer. This is the Hourglass Immaculate Foundation. I'm wearing it right now. I'm actually filming lots of videos. This is the third video in a row and usually I'm like a sweaty mess and I don't think I'm shiny right now. So this controls oil really well. This is more for oily skin. If you have dry skin or dry patches, it's not gonna look that great. It's going to kind of collect in those areas. I got this in nude. It is oil-free mattifying liquid powder foundation. So it goes on, it's kind of a liquid moussey kind of texture and then it goes to a powder. Really lovely, not full coverage, but even like skin, it controls the oil. Just use a um, concealer to kind of conceal areas that you need to. Now moving on to areas of the eyes. I really have been loving the Ardell lashes, especially the Demi lashes. They look quite dramatic but on. They look quite natural really compared to by themselves, I don't know. I think they looked a bit much but on they look very beautiful. Also the Kat Von D eyeliner has just been my go-to. Completely get the hype of it. The brush is really nice, like the applicator is different to a felt, it feels more like a brush. I kind of understand that now more that I've used it. Of course I had to mention the Primark Velcro rollers. I love the volume that they gave to my hair. They were so easy to use and very inexpensive. This is the large and this is the medium. I also have done a tutorial. I will link that below if you want to see how I use them. I had them in my hair, I think in my tutorial for two and a bit hours and the results were great. Obviously the longer you leave them, the better the results will be. So the smaller ones are for more of a curl. 
The larger ones you use more to the root for the volume. If you just wanted volume, just use the bigger ones. This I probably should have featured it as number one because this definitely was my number one favourite. This is the iPhone 6 and just the quality of my photos is just so much better for Instagram, just for social media. The front camera is insane. I love how thin it is. Um, some people don't like how big it is but Amy showed me something rather clever so like small hands like me it's hard to reach the top if you just press this twice it comes down then you can reach the top I didn't know these things she Amy you're a genius with your knowledge of iPhones <laughs> this is just so much faster just I <laughs> it's ridiculous how much like I'm obsessed obsessed with my phone. A favourite footwear item has got to be these knee-high boots. These are from New Look. I originally got them from ASOS. Oh, I love the style of these. I like how the back kind of contrasts with the like matte leather. What's well, faux leather? They are. They look like pretty real. And I've worn these a lot and they've worn really well. They look kind of more like leather that I've worn them in. I haven't slouched at all. They fit me perfectly. I love these with jumper dresses. I love them with dresses. Like I don't really wear dresses unless I'm going on a night out. I don't really wear dresses, but recently I have with these. I actually have a favorite app. I am obsessed with Photoshop. That is an app on the iPhone. I did get it a few years ago, but at the time it was just so kind of basic. I just didn't see the point. And um, I was speaking to Victoria and the fro about like, what do you use to edit your pictures with? And she uses that. So I use that first. I use two apps to edit my pictures. Yes, yes I do for Instagram. Such an addict. Um, I first put my photos into Photoshop and I used like the temperature because often I find the pictures look quite warm. So I kind of correct the temperature. I do some effects in there. Then I open it up into Afterlight and do it that way. I just feel it gets more of a kind of a neutral colour first and I can use all my favourite effects in Afterlight because I find I can't always, like the temperature on Afterlight I don't think is that good but yes, a little sneaky one there that Victoria uses Photoshop to edit her pictures I don't know if she said before or not, I think she has, I think she said it before I've not just given all her secrets away, I hope not there's been so many songs I've been loving recently and that was because I was on Radio 1 when they did the live lounge. I stumbled across it on YouTube and I was watching so many videos and that was just so great. It's kind of weird, I don't know, like hearing people's voices and not really knowing what they look like and getting to see what they look like. Like George Ezra, he didn't look how I imagined. But I'll leave a list of links to um, songs or YouTube videos of stuff I've heard. So originally I found people through the live lounge, then I went to James Bay, who I'm seeing next Saturday actually with Jacqueline, excited. From watching his live lounge, then I saw that he did an acoustic session with Burberry, and then I watched every single acoustic session they did on their YouTube, and I found so many amazing people. So I will link down below to that, like, oh, feast of music. I literally, I think I was on YouTube looking for music for like four hours and I'm not really that kind of person but I was just getting so excited finding all these people. So those were my favourites. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, like and subscribe and thank you for watching. Hi guys and welcome to my October fashion haul. I have separated these into two so this is fashion. I've also done beauties and accessories in another haul so let's get started. So first things I actually got from Depop and a shameless plug I still have many items available clothes, shoes, accessories. I ship worldwide.